Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name's Raven, if you're new here, and I'm your favorite Pilates teacher, duh. <laughs> Today, if you're here, it's probably because you wanna get that waistline right and tight for the new year. You're trying to get it together before 2024, and I get it because me too. The holidays are such a challenging time, mentally and physically. You're probably running around doing a million things and not taking any time for you and your mental and physical health. So today's workout, thanks to Audible, is your opportunity for a little 15 minutes of self-care. Stay tuned during this workout to hear about how I stay sane and manage stress during the holiday season. Once you're ready, grab your light weights, your booty band, and a bottle of water, and we're going to get this show on the road. Here we go. Okay, you guys, I've got my weight and my band to the side. We don't have a lot of time, so let's get started. Start with your feet about hip distance apart. Reach your arms out to the side. We start with some side stretches. So really, we're just moving our rib cage here, opening up the sides of your body. I think about people who've got strings on your fingertips and they're pulling you side to side. What's that game? Tug of war. You're playing tug of war for four, three. Should feel really good. Two. Now keep going. Externally rotate your feet. Plie and stretch. Reach. Stay low and draw your abs in and up. Give me eight, seven, six. Keep those legs low. Try to turn on the inner thighs. Three, two, Tap the floor. We go down, stretch up. Start to breathe. See how my thighs go wide. My knees are just tracking over my two biggest toes. We go down. Fix your costume. We go down. Breathing for two strong arms. We add two pulses. We go down, down and up. Little quicker, down. Down. It's okay if you don't touch the floor. Push, push, thighs open. Push, push, thighs open. Hold it down. Pulses, eight, seven. Really wrap right here. Feel a big stretch. Four, three, two, one. Hands to your thighs. Twist. Center. Other side. Twist. Big stretch. Center. Woo. Are you breathing? One more time, each side, big twist. Last one here, Whew. Feet point towards me, stretch over the hamstrings, let the head hang, hold it, three, two, slowly roll up. That's your warm up. grab your weights. <laughs> All right, everyone, legs stay nice and wide. I got weights in my hands. I pull my elbows back, guys, stretch, bend. Keep your core nice and tight. See how my feet and knees are pointing towards you. Shoulders are down, I bend my right leg, send my hips back, same side. Hips back, whew. And abs in and up. Booty goes back, I'm pushing into my feet and I'm pushing my right knee over my right toe. So I'm really working that right thigh and booty cause that's what we want, right? Three more, two more, keep your chest high. One more here, other side, eight times, go left leg bend, whew. Try not to adjust. Definitely getting some cardio now. <laughs> and four. Keep those arms going. Five. Six. Are you breathing? Seven. Last one here. Eight. Stand up, arms open. Opposite hand, right foot. Bring it up, other side. Standing saw with a lateral lunge. So now, we still got the booty, but we're adding lots of core and waist. Sit back, whew, and get a nice stretch of the inner thigh. Let's do two more sets here. Two, I really feel my inner thighs. Two, 
One more. And one. Keep abs in and up. One. Bring it up. Just your arms lower. Lift. Keep your abs in and up. Woo. Feels good. <laughs> arms should definitely be getting a little tired now. Two more here. Two. Last one, transfer the weight to your left foot. Curtsy the right leg back. We curtsy. Add your hug a tree. Hug and open. Add a rotation to the left. That's the full thing. Modify as you need and open and twist. That's three. We're going for eight, y'all. Arms should be feeling it. Four. How you breathe? Five. Whew. Six, almost there. Seven. Hold the twist on eight. We twist. Center over. Center. Use your core. Can you get deeper through your left leg? Left booty should be working. Last three. Keep your chest high. Last two. Keep your chest high. Last one. Stand up, open your arms, point your right leg. Can you stretch your right arm over? <sighs> Bring it up, add your curtsy. Stretch the right arm over. Woo. Should be even deeper there, just two more. Big stretch over. Core, arms, legs are all working. Last one, hold it for four, three, two. Bring it up. We got the other side. Lower, lift the arms. Just a few here. For two, my legs are nice and wide. Hold the arms up on one. Shift your weight to your right leg. Here we go. Tap left foot back. Add the arms. Wow, my arms are sore. Now add your twist. Here we go. For eight. How are you breathing? Ooh. See how I'm exhaling on the twist to get even more. Make sure you're using your right leg to stand up. Almost there. Three. Almost there. Two. Almost there. Hold this next one on one. Just your twist. One. Low on that right leg. Tell yourself your upper body is really just distracting from that lower body. Five. Almost there. Seven. Eight. Stand up, arms open, big stretch. Bring it up, arms out, add your curtsy. Stretch left arm and lift big stretch left arm one more hold it four three two bring it up feet point towards me roll down big stretch leave your weights there big exhale roll up for three two one, let's take it to the mat. <laughs> okay, while you're getting your band on and you're getting some water, let's talk about how I use Audible to manage stress, especially around the holidays. Now, obviously, working out and teaching Pilates are both a huge stress reliever for me, but when I'm not on the mat, I love to use Audible to listen to some of my favorite titles, podcasts, and meditations. I personally love listening to Audible. When I'm walking for my morning coffee, I'll put on a little podcast. When I'm doing chores around the house or even listening to one of my favorite audiobooks when I'm on the train. I also love a guided meditation and Audible has tons of options for these. I like to listen to them out on my balcony with a cup of tea or even in bed before I go to sleep. Over the holidays, when my life feels so chaotic and hectic, my Audible membership becomes so valuable to me, and that's why I'm honored to be partnering with Audible. 
I'll throw some of my favorite titles, podcasts, and meditations up on the screen so y'all can see them, and I'll link them in the description box below. And if you're not a member on Audible, they make it so easy to sign up, you guys. They give you your first month free. So do me a favor and head to the description box right after class to sign up for Audible for your first month free. But without further ado, let's get back to your workout. Band is right above your knees. Here we go. All right, everyone, come on to all fours, except this time with your elbows right underneath your shoulders. Extend your left leg out, bring it in. <sighs> Keep your core nice and tight. If you wanna stay on your hands, go for it like a normal quadruped position. But I notice I can get my glute engaged, my leg up just a little bit higher by coming down here. Whew. Give me five, core in and up, four, you don't have to use the band, it's optional. <laughs> Two. Okay, hold it on one, bend and stretch, keeping your thigh lifted and keeping your core engaged. Keep your knee up and push down on them elbows, baby. Four more here, four, three. Keep your thigh lifted, y'all. Two, we're gonna slow it down on one. Extend the leg, extend the opposite arm, hold it. Can you lower? Can you lift? Go slow. Without throwing that back out. Whew. I'm feeling lots of core, lots of booty. Even a little bit of shoulders, because we did do our arms with our weights, right? Four. Use your butt. Oh, almost there. Six. How you breathing? Seven. Hold it up on eight. We're going back to the bend and stretch, but can you tap the foot? Extend one. Keep your thigh up. Two. Keep your thigh up. Three. We're getting into that waist on the right side, hopefully. Woo. Almost there. Five. Almost there. Keep it going. Seven. Your booty should be burning. Last one. Hold it, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Lower down, Whew, I feel it, other side. Out and down, feels easy now. <laughs> right, three, stretch long from your head to your tail. I like that little set. Whew. Almost there, y'all, six. Get that leg up if you can without moving your ribs. Now hold it up on eight, bend and stretch in. Slow it down, two. Use your hamstring. Do you feel where the band is touching? Those are the muscles I want you to try to recruit on this exercise. Six, seven, keep the thigh up. Eight, hold it long, reach the arm. We go down and up, one. Woo, this are way harder. Two, three. Try not to sway your back, y'all. That is the hard part on this one. It's tiny. Six, seven, I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> Hold it up on eight, we tap, slow one. It's okay if you don't actually touch. Two. I'm really working into my left side now. Four. Woo, not me falling over. Five. Oh my God, this side is so hard. Six, seven, get that leg up. Eight, hold it, eight, seven, six, four, three, two, lower, down, oh my God. Okay, come on to your right elbow facing. Mwaha. Here we go. Ankles stay together, push down through the elbow, lift the hips, open the thigh. I'm pushing my hips towards you. Squeeze in that seat, lower down. Push, lift. Nice and slow, lower down. Push, lift, work into that band. Whew, that's not easy. <laughs> One more, nice and slow. Okay, lower down. Take your top hand, this costume, it loves me, right? Top hand goes back behind your head. We twist at the bottom. Now we open, find your flow. We're really working our ribs here, upper waist. Keep pushing your hips towards me. Three, and don't forget about opening that band, baby. Woo, four, pop 
that thing. Five. Are you breathing? Six. Push down on the forearm. Seven. Last one. Hold it at the top. Just do the leg for eight. Seven. Use your booty. Smile. For four. Three. Two. And one. Lower. Down. Spin it around town. Here we go, y'all. Woo. Bottom. Right underneath my shoulder. Hands to your hips. Lift. Open. Hold. Slow. Down. Abs in and up. Lift, open, hold. Slow, lower down two. Uh -uh. Lift, open, hold. Lower down three. <laughs> One more. It's not easy being cheesy. Lower down. Okay, top hand to your head. Let's add our twist. Think elbow floor. One. Oh my gosh, I felt my abs a lot on that one. <sighs> Exhale at the bottom. Three. Four. Oh boy. Five. Oh my gosh, my armpit just farted. It's sweating. <laughs> Six. <laughs> Almost there. Seven. Last one. Hold it up. Just the leg. Eight. Seven. Knit the ribs. Lift the hips. Four. Three, baby, two, baby, one. Lower it down. Okay, lay down on your back. Almost finished, y'all. See, isn't this a nice, short and sweet little workout for you to do? Knees into your chest, it's just so perfect for the holidays. That's why I got my little leg warmers on for you. Okay, arms down, we tap, bring it tabletop. Just check in here, the band's gonna make it a little harder. Push the arms down, shoulders back. Keep this rib cage from flaring. Find your breathing. Advancement, follow me. Curl up, head heavy in the hands. Ooh. If you'd like to advance more, follow me. Crisscross prep, tap, twist, switch. Tap, twist. Now we're really working into those high abs. So important for getting that waistline. Twist. How you're breathing, twist. We already did some standing twisting too. For four, for three, for two, and one. Center back to the beginning right here. For three, almost done. Two, abs are gonna fall off, yeah, me too. Now let's advance, straight leg, twist. See how I'm not giving up in the center, I'm not going down. I'm not going downtown. <laughs> but you know what's going downtown, my ab muscles right now, oh my God, y'all. Breathing. Let's go eight. Go back to your toe taps if you need to. Four, almost there. Almost there. Two, one, back to center. Tap. Try to lift a little higher, y'all. Just try. You can do it, put your back and do it. Four, three, lift off those blades. Two, and one, pull it in. You survived. Rock yourself up. Give yourself a little forward fold. Now, like I mentioned before, thank you Audible for sponsoring this video and sponsoring our mental health. Hello. <laughs> there really couldn't be a better recipe for mental health than eating healthy, staying hydrated, listening to things that nourish you and moving in ways that nourish you, you guys. So. Hopefully, this is one of the ways that nourishes your body mentally and physically by doing Pilates, listening to Audible. Don't forget to check out my recommendations. Honestly, I love them. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to share this workout with someone you love. 
right? That's the perfect holiday gift. We're sharing mental and physical health, duh. <laughs> okay, thanks you guys, thanks Audible, and I'll see you later on the mat.